Hello everyone, uh, thanks for joining in our presentation. Our paper is about extracting contextualized quantity fact from web tables, uh, proposed by uh, Max Planck Institute uh, for Informatics. And to start, uh, uh, let me give some motivations about this work. Uh, quantities are financial, physical, and other measures that uh, denote important properties of entities such as uh, revenue of companies or energy efficiency of cars. Quantities uh, usually appear in quantity queries, which is uh, an important building block for comparative search. Uh, for example, uh, we can ask for sprinters who run uh, 100 meters under 9.9 seconds uh, or football teams uh, worth more than uh, 1 billion pounds. For this kind of queries, we expect that the returned results should be entities. However, a major search engine uh, could uh, return a list of documents, uh, which is not uh, what we expect. The main reason is that uh, the search engine uh, does not really understand the quantity in the query, and instead they treat the quantity as normal string. To answer this kind of queries, an important step is to extract quantity fact from a huge amount of data from many different sources. In our earlier work, we have worked on extracting quantity fact from text, and because uh, web tables are a rich source of quantities, this is a motivation for us to extend our work to extract quantity fact from web tables and to support answering quantity queries. But extracting quantity fact in web tables is difficult. Why is it difficult? This is uh, an example table about uh, football, football teams, and here we need to answer several questions. The first question is, what is the unit and the resolution of the quantities? You can see that it's very difficult to correctly extract quantity in this table, because they vary uh, in unit with, even within the same column. And moreover, uh, the quantity values are also affected by a scaling factor, even in the column header. The next question is, what does the quantity refer to? This includes two sub-questions. Which entities is the quantities associated with, and what is the relation between them? So in this work, we will tackle these three questions, with uh, main focuses on question 2 and question 3. One of the key tasks uh, when extracting fact from web table is column alignment, which links each quantity column to a proper entity column, so that we can extract quantity fact from the linked column pair. For example, in this table, uh, we want to link the column capacity to stadium and value to team. However, this is not easy for machine. About the prior work, uh, many papers adopt a very simple heuristic for column alignment. For example, uh, the first uh, column heuristic links all the quantity columns to the first column of the table. The most unique heuristic links all the quantity columns to the column with the most number of unique values. And the closest left heuristic links uh, each, uh, quantity columns to the closest entity column on the left. However, uh, these heuristics uh, do not always work uh, for complex tables. Uh, for example, in this table, uh, the first two heuristics uh, fail to identify the link between uh, capacity and stadium, and the closest left heuristic uh, can identify this link, uh, however, it uh, incorrectly links the column value uh, to coach. Uh, some other prior works uh, assume that uh, there is a single subject column of a table and build a classifier uh, to identify that column. However, uh, this assumption is not always true. That it doesn't allow multiple subject columns in the table, like the one we are considering here. There is also another work that allows uh, multiple subject columns uh, by identifying functional dependencies between columns uh, using entropy. But uh, this doesn't work well for quantities and for small tables, because uh, in these kind of tables, a common situation is that the values are often unique and hence uh, uh, the entropy doesn't really help. For the last approach, which is the most prominent one, is to, uh, uh, to identify the correct uh, column alignment by mapping a column pairs uh, to an existing KB relation. However, uh, this method cannot be directly applied for quantity because uh, we do not have a rich KB of quantities yet. So, in this work, uh, we will propose a method that specifically supports uh, extracting quantity fact for web tables. 
And now we will describe our approach. The quantity fight model that we use in this work is called Q fight, proposed from our earlier work. A Q fight is basically a triple of EQX uh, with a KB entity E as a subject, a quantity Q as an object, and a context X, which is basically a bag of words that describe the relation between E and Q, like a predicate in the standard RDF model. For example, in this table, uh, we want to extract Q fact about team values and stadium capacities. Here, it is very important to see that the context of the Q fact could come from not only the column header, but also from outside of the table, uh, for example, from table caption or page title. So, uh, with this uh, computational model, our Q fact extraction starts with a table preprocessing phase, here, including the following steps. The first step is uh, quantity uh, quantity detection, and for this uh, we make use of the two earlier works. The first one is applied to the table cells to identify quantity values and unit, and the second one is applied to the column headers uh, to discover an additional unit and scaling factor if available. And because uh, these are two separate works, uh, we combine them together using rules. The second step is uh, entity recognition. Uh, we identify entity mentions in the table using a dictionary built from Wikipedia anchorings. Uh, the dictionary gives us not only the mentions but also their candidate entities. And the final step is entity linking, which links uh, each mention uh, to an entity in the candidate set. And for this, uh, we adopt a method from the prior work uh, with inference over a probabilistic graphical model. And uh, this is the output of this uh, preprocessing step uh, phase. Uh, you can see that the entities are recognized and linked uh, to a KB, and the quantities are extracted uh, with the proper value and unit. And now uh, we perform column alignment uh, on this uh, preprocessed table. We define uh, the quality of a column alignment uh, as the average quality of the candidate Q fact uh, generated from it. Uh, for example, uh, in this table, uh, we want to compute uh, the average quality of the candidate Q fact uh, generated by the alignment uh, between team values and between stadium and capacity. Here, uh, the quality of a candidate Q fact uh, is measured by the external score function here and this quality function is uh, computed from uh, an external data collection. Uh, prior work on column alignment uh, usually use a KB uh, as evident for scoring a table fact. But uh, as we have mentioned before, because we do not have a rich KB of quantities, we have to use a different kind of data. And the kind of data that we use is text corpora. Our key idea for scoring a candidate table Q fact is to retrieve evidence from a large corpus of text. In our earlier work, we have worked on extracting Q-fact from text, and now we can make use of this technique to extract a collection C of Q-fact uh, generated from a large corpus of text document, uh, for example, Wikipedia or news articles. And then uh, we compute uh, the evidence score for a candidate table Q-fact, EQX, by finding the best match Q-fact in C with the same entity E. The Q-fact similarity is basically the combination of uh, quantity similarity and context similarity, which is which is measured by the two functions, uh, sim1 and sim2 here. And for example, uh, when estimating the quality of this candidate Q-fact, we find a text snippet, and from this text, we can extract an evident Q-fact. And you can see that both the candidate Q-fact and the evidence Q-fact mention about the same information. But uh, this method does not always work because uh, for many candidate facts from the table, we may not find any text-based evidence. This is expected because if we can always find the same information in text uh, for any candidate table Q fact, then there is no reason to extract facts from tables, and instead we can extract from text only. So our solution for this problem is that uh, instead of looking for evidence with the same entity, we can find evidence with the same entity type. Specifically, for each entity E star of the same type as E, we compute a score uh, from the best match evidence having E star as entity. And for this, apart from uh, computing quantity and context similarities, we also need to compute uh, the entity similarity between E and E star, which is a rare function here. 
this function is uh, basically based on the uh, KB type system. Then we define the final evidence score of a candidate table Q fact as the average of top uh, K uh, type, uh, type related entities. And so, um, with this method, uh, for the candidate Q fact that we are considering as before, uh, we not only find the exact entity evidence, but also find text snippet about uh, about capacity of other stadiums. And this is, uh, this is a strong evidence that when uh, we talk about capacity, it's likely that we talk about uh, we talk about a stadium uh, rather than talking about the team. So far, uh, we have uh, described our approach uh, for extracting Q facts from web tables, and now we would use this extracted fact uh, for answering quantity queries. An important step after extracting Q fact is Q fact contextualization. The problem is that uh, sometimes uh, we cannot fully understand a Q fact uh, with only the quantity column header in the Q fact context. So, in this step, uh, we basically contextualize the Q fact uh, with uh, not only the quantity column header, but also with other components of the table. Uh, for example, uh, the table caption, uh, the shell cells on the same row, a page title, DOM tree headings, and the text uh, surrounding the table. This, these components are weighted and combined together into a bag of words. And here is a system overview of our quantity search system, which is called Qt. Our system consists of the following main steps. The first steps, the first two steps are Q5 extraction and Q5 contextualization that we have uh, described before. These are followed by the Q5 matching step, uh, in which uh, we first uh, decompose the uh, input quantity query into, into the triple of uh, entity type, uh, quantity condition, and query context. And then we match this triple with the uh, Q fact extracted from before, using our proposed uh, measure, which is called uh, weighted directed ending distance. The final step is Q fact corroboration, which uh, enhances the ranking of Q fact uh, by considering the mutual consistency between the candidate answers. This produces the final Q fact ranking and return the results to the user. And because uh, due to time constraint, uh, we, uh, we refer to our original paper for more detail about these steps. This is the output of our system for a sample query. You can see that our search system returns entity result along with text evidence for the column alignment. You can also see that because of the contextualization step, we are able to capture the context tokens uh, 100 meters, which is outside of the table, like in the page title, a same row cell, or in the table caption, in this case. For, uh, for the evaluation. For the intrinsic evaluation of Q5 extraction, we use a three web table test set. The first two are from the earlier work, and the third one is combined by us, which is called Wikidiff, uh, containing only complex tables for the column alignment task. We compare our col column alignment method with uh, different baselines including uh, symbol heuristics, as mentioned before, and also with a classifier for the subject column, also from one of the earlier work. And as you can see, uh, our column alignment method outperforms on the baseline, especially by large margin on the Wikidiff dataset. Uh, for the extrinsic evaluation of uh, quantity search, uh, we use a set of queries from different domains like uh, finance, sport, technology, and transport. And here, we compare our system with uh, three baselines. The first baseline is the Q-Search system from our earlier work, which uh, supports answering quantity queries, however, using data from text. The second baseline is uh, Google Direct Answers, uh, using the output from Google Search, and we annotate them manually. The third baseline is a Google List Expansion, which is uh, similar to Google DA, except that we expand the result uh, from Google if the page content is a list or a table. The result shows that uh, our Qt system outperforms on the baseline uh, for answering quantity queries. We would like to conclude our paper here. In this paper, we have proposed uh, a novel approach for extracting quantity facts from web tables. We also built an end-to-end -end QA system for answering quantity queries. The evaluation shows that our system outperformed the baseline uh, for both extracting Q fact and for answering quantity queries. And finally, you always can try it our system at the below link. 
Thank you so much for listening.